Hey, this is PWG at FBC, bringing you some spiritual vision for your life's mission. Uh, recently, we had Reverend Marva Tyndale come and pour into us the power of the spoken blessings. And we were charged not just to receive blessings, but to be a blessing. Uh, we were reminded of God's beginning approach to blessing his creatures, and specifically Adam and Eve in Genesis 1. 28 God blessed them and said to replenish the earth of sequence of curses and sins and curses led to Noah's position with the flood redeeming mankind back into his creative power and we see in Genesis 12 he made a promise to Abraham that I will make you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. You will see this word blessing echo time and time again. And then we see Jesus shows up in Galatians chapter 3. There's a reference there in verses 13 to 14. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, which we just echoed through Genesis. But in verse 14, he redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus. So that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. So even Christ echoes this in the Gospels. When he had led them out of the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Who's that? That's Luke 24, verses 50 to 53. While he was still blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. The last thing Christ did before he was taken up into heaven as bless the disciples and bless us with the power of the spoken blessings. We learn that prayer and blessing are meant to be paired, according to Reverend Mava. Prayer takes earth's petitions to heaven and blessings bring heaven's provisions to earth. Let me repeat that. Prayer takes earth's petitions to heaven and blessings bring heaven's provisions to earth. When praises go up, the blessings come down. And let me finish off by echoing what she gave to us in the blessing song from Numbers 6, verses 24 to 26. And I'll sing it for you shortly, but I want you to go to Reverend Mava's website at www.realidteaching.org www.realid T-E-A-C-H-I-N-G dot org and you will receive your bite-sized daily blessing from Reverend Marver at this website. Let me declare this blessing on you from number 6, 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and gave you peace. I encourage you to go and be a blessing to each and all of God's creatures. Hey, check us out at www.fbctoronto.ca. Maranatha, even so, come Lord Jesus.